Aurora TV. The world is thinking. And just for a couple of minutes, you can do this at home. Just go into Google and put Hubble Heritage Images. Some of its time has been spent imaging the most beautiful objects that we have in our Milky Way and beyond. And they're in all sorts of books, including my own. And the great thing is you don't have to pay to use them. So everybody uses these wonderful images. And it is a real heritage left behind, or will have been left behind by Hubble. We'll just quickly look for a couple of minutes at some of these. Um, this is Jupiter. And notice it says Hubble Heritage down the bottom here. Do you see the aurora? Uh, but there was a bit of a hoo-ha. Remember last week? And I, got, I had to do some, some uh, local radio, national radio about that. Um, and, in fact, there are instruments that tell you whether there's like to be an aurora, and they're all saying there wasn't. So I was being a bit of a, a party pooper. But the thing that no one on the main telly said, there was a full moon. If there's a full moon, you haven't really got any chance at all. I said that. Wasn't I wrong? <laughs> but anyway, it was cloudy. But anyway, there's aurora on Jupiter. Um, some lovely pictures you've seen before of Saturn showing the various phases of the rings as it goes in its orbit. And this is rather lovely. Uh, I didn't know it was one. That's, um, one of the, that's Titan, in fact. And here are two planets. Do you see the little shadows? That's 2009. That's not very long ago. And then we have these things called planetary nebulae. They're what happens when stars like our own blow up. And what's left behind is a little white dwarf, which is that. This is what's blown off. The red colour is hydrogen, but you see the turquoisey, the sort of blue and green, that's largely oxygen. So the oxygen we're breathing in this room here today were produced as stars like our sun blow up and die. And that's another one. Rather beautiful. Maybe call the cat's eye that one. I like that one. A bit like a spirograph picture, isn't it? And here, oh, that's the cat's eye one, yes. These are really beautiful. And, sorry, and then we can just go out to see some of the galaxies. This is called the Whirlpool Galaxy. And in fact, to do this, the Hubble had to take many images and combine them together. It only sees about that size in one go. So that's a fantastic image of a beautiful spiral galaxy. One of these so-called white nebula that was looked at, in fact, by Edwin Hubble. And here's a barred spiral, a bit like our own. In fact, the, 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 the two arms are much wider than in our case. And this is called an active galaxy. It's only 12 million light years away. But here, a massive burst of far star formation is blowing out, ah, sorry, is blowing out all this material. You can't see in there because of all the dust. But our Merlin radio telescope can look inside. And we've spotted about 30-odd supernovae actually expanding as time goes by. And this is the Sombrero galaxy. That's obviously because it looks a bit like a... It's what you see when a, an easy jet comes into Liverpool and they've got one of those on their head and they've got a big donkey under their arm. 